Today I'm working on some items for um, the Cocker Spaniel trial in the spring, in March. And I just wanted to run through my process because I've never taken you into my office um, to show you where the artwork and, and decals are made. Um, this is part of the welcome sign, the artwork for a welcome sign, and some other back stamps, those little those little guys are going to go on backs of plates and my dipping dishes. I create a lot of my artwork in Photoshop. I do some of it by hand as well and then scan into Photoshop um, to color it and tweak it and do whatever I have to do, size it, etc. And then the artwork is printed out on my um, ceramic printer. It prints in ceramic toner made in this process. Um, but this is, this is, so this is the cover coat. It's food safe, lead free flux. And it gets put face down on top of the decal that I just printed out. And then it goes through a laminator. Then I would feed the um, decal and cover coat through the laminator. It comes out the back. Once the cover coat has been laminated to the decal, I remove the paper backing. And here's the finished decal. They just need to. So now I'm ready to start cutting out um, the Cocker Spaniel trophy decals and pretty straightforward I'm just cutting around the edges of the decals and I'm not going to take you <laughs> through all of them because I have I think there's 31 or 33 of them but just to give you an idea what happens to each of them along the way. And it, you know, it's kind of a slow going process because um, you don't want to cut anything off that's supposed to be in the decal. But you want to also get close to the edge. All right, so there's one of the small plates. Which So I've cut out my decals and I've gotten a few of them wet and I'm waiting for the backing to, to release. And when it starts sliding around on there, I know that I'm ready. Then I need to get the magnet warm by, I'm, I'm reaching behind the camera right now. And, whoa, sorry about that. <laughs> reaching behind and soaking it in um, some hot water that I have in a, a crock pot of all things and then once the surface is warm I just place my decal on there and start to smooth out air bubbles And I'll use a little squeegee to help that process. And I want to make sure that it's centered on there. And that looks pretty good. And then the last step is just to use a paper towel to help get the water out. And I just rub the paper towel on there carefully because I can still end up moving the decal. So what I'm doing is I'm holding the decal to the magnet surface while wiping with the other hand. My last step is I take my goofy jeweler's glasses. Hello. <laughs> and I look to make sure that I've gotten all the air bubbles out. Because the worst thing for me is to get through this whole process and then fire 
my pottery and end up with defects after all of the hard work I've done. All right, well, I've got a couple done. I'm gonna keep going and I will check in with another pottery shape when I... Now I am working on a wine stopper. I've done a, a few of them. I just have one left to do. And then the last step is to put, um, I'm putting the event title on the back. It's for the uh, Washington, sorry, Washington State Cocker Spaniel Club for their spring 2019 um, event. So I put that on the top and then my website name goes on the bottom. That's the back with the title on it and the little red and white cocker on the front. And now I'm working on the dipping bowls for the Cocker Spaniel Club. So I've just soaked the dipping bowl to get it warm because um, the decal needs to curve up the sides a little bit. So I place it in here and then just with my finger smooth it to the surface and bend it. So then I'll use my my rubber squeegee while I'm holding the decal with my thumb to the surface keeps wanting to stick to my finger though and smooth out the water then I use my trusty jewelers glasses to make sure I've gotten all of the air bubbles out, especially where it curves up the side. And the last thing to do is to put the event decal on the back. And it's done. I've dipped the plate in hot water to get it warm and my decal has soaked for a little bit so that it is releasing from the paper backing. and these are the medium and I'm doing this buff cocker spaniel decal So this is the, the largest plate. This is the medium plate. And this is the smallest plate. 
hello i'm back with my last couple items for the cocker spaniel trophies and right now i'm working on um, one of the welcome signs Okay, I'm adding the welcome text very carefully. So I've cut out the extra parts of the welcome and now it's done. Now it will